Tonight, we're talking with his younger brother, Philonis. We're learning more about the man they also affectionately called Big Floyd. And Philonis, thanks so much. We're grateful to have you with us tonight. Um, we intend to keep the focus on George the man, your brother here at BNC. Tell us, how's your family holding up? Because I know it's been a long 10 months. Uh, it's been a roller coaster ride. Everything has been up, it's been down. Uh, we just pray on everything, we, we talk about everything, and we just keep our faith that uh, we will get justice and we will get a conviction. Yeah, prayer for family, you've been through so much. How are you processing this as justice, what, whatever form it comes in, um, is now in reach, I guess? Uh, yeah, I'm optimistic about a lot of things in life because, hey, uh, we will get justice. You've seen the video. That's all the proof that you need. The officer had his knee on my brother's neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds. Uh, while he was in the prone position, face down, blood dripping out his nose, my brother yelled over and over that he couldn't breathe. And when he hollered for my oh, mom, that hurt me even more because my mom is not here. But when somebody's calling for their mom as a grown man, that lets you know that they know it's their time and, and they're about to go. And if you can't get justice for something like this in America, what can you get justice for? You know, seeing the pictures of you and your brother, hearing you talk about your brother, seeing him with the rest of the family, I can feel the love. We can feel the love. You wanted to be just like George. What was it like growing up with him? Uh, yeah, it, it was every day. It was, it, was, it, was, it was one of those things that you come up in a household and you know that your big brother is going to beat you in the video game. You know that he would never let me win in basketball. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's like playing football, he would never throw the ball directly to me. It was always off. And I just thought that he was like sorry or something. But he told me yeah. he was throwing it to me. So I won't think it will come directly to me. I will have to go get the ball. <laughs> we... We, we uh, did a lot of things from fishing, um, you know, eating it, eat with each other. We slept in the same bed with each other. George was, he really was like the staple of a big brother. He really showed you what life was about when you were coming up, man. It was everybody wanted to be be his, his uh, brother and sisters and stuff because he was just lovable. Uh, he made you feel like you was the... Uh, most like specialist person on earth and everybody has to just look at you because every time George came around yeah, people light up and everybody knew who he was everybody knew him he was known <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah Philonis, um that's what's important as we said here at BNC we're going to keep the focus on your brother George thanks so much for sharing the memories they're precious memories uh, you will rejoin us in just a few minutes with more uh, on uh, what justice looks like for you and your family. We'll get right back with you.